Hi friends, today we will learn about one of the easiest vegetable that can be grown in your terrace garden. That is okra or lady's finger as it is known here. Okra is a tropical plant which is grown mainly for its seed pots. It is used in several Indian curries and soups. Bendy fry made out of it is my favorite. So let's see how to grow this in your terrace garden. These are okra seeds. They are colored for identification, but they usually look like this, round and dark black in color. And these are hybrid seeds as well. It is best to use hybrid seeds as there is better chance of germination and yield will be also good and quick. These okra seeds, I had soaked them for 3 days and after 2 days of soaking, they will start to germinate. Let me show you the germinated seeds. This one, if you see, has germinated. Not all of them have germinated. That is okay. In okra, the biggest hurdle is to get the seeds germinated because the outer shell will be thick. You may have to try different methods of germination based on the climate and seed type. This pot is around 30 centimeters height and about 30 centimeters wide. I have filled this with 40 is to 30 is to 30 of garden compost, garden manure and red soil. Make sure you use fully formed dry manure, else the microbes in the mixture may eat the germinated seeds. Also, your potting mixture should be little bit firm and rigid to support the tall okra plant. If you are trying any plant for first time, you can sow the seeds in cocoa plug or peat pellets instead of soil. So, the way to use this is to insert the seed in the middle and put some water. It will retain the water and bulge, providing a good wet condition for seeds to germinate and grow. The advantage of using this is that you can clearly identify the sapling and need not worry about de-weeding as well. Once the sapling is big enough, you can remove this paper cover and sow this whole thing directly in the soil. But I prefer to directly sow them in the soil because this soil is its ultimate home and if it sprouts and survives in this, then there is a better chance of getting a healthy plant. I will sow these directly about 5 cm below the soil. It's been two weeks and the sapling has grown quite well. Now you can see the actual okra leaf which has come out in all the plants. Usually in the third leaf you can identify the plant. You can leave this as it is but only one of them would grow as this crowded at one point. I have little space here, so I will transplant the sapling and plant them a bit far apart so that they have space to grow. So dig the sapling deeply so that you don't hurt the root and keep it aside. Usually in the pot of this size, you should grow around 5 okra plants. Since I don't have space anywhere else in my garden, I will have to plant them here only.
I am finished with the transplant and you just need to water it regularly after that. It's been four weeks now and all the saplings which I had planted in this pot have grown fully. Let's look at the plant. These are okra leaves with four to six lobes which varies in sizes. And this is okra stem which is thin and tall with long internodes. What you see here is the okra bird and this bird when it flowers looks like this. This is okra flower. One more here. Fully bloomed beautiful flower actually. With okra you need not pollinate the flowers. They self pollinate and produce the pots. The small okra here, after pollination the flower falls off and okra will be visible. After some more days it starts to grow long like this. Here I have one more okra, the flower has not fallen off, it has dried and stuck to the okra. Similarly the pots will start to grow in all the plants. That's it for now. Let's leave the pots to grow more and come back for harvest. It's harvest time now. It took one and a half month for the first harvest. Okras at the lower part of the plant are ready for harvest. I will get another harvest within a day or two. So let's harvest the okras carefully. This one is soft, tender and ready to use. If you leave it longer, it will become fibrous and difficult to eat. This is what I got from my first harvest. Still plants are growing. I am going to get more okras within a week. The experience of growing okra has been really satisfying. Hope you to get same results. Thank you for watching the video. Happy gardening.